everybody, what's going on today? Welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm Buddy Blackbird and today we're going to be working with the character panel to adjust our type and fonts in Photoshop CS6. <clears throat> so the pretty much the uh, character panel has a bunch of different options in it. You can also find some of the options up here at the top, but it also has other options that are quick and to the point that you can get in there and get done plus other options that are not up on the top so just go ahead and create some text um, preferably a few words so we can go over all the different things and then open up your character panel which is this A on the side or you can go into a window and then go to character or you can click on this button here that will open up the character panel as well so let's start going over what some of the options are. We've got our font um, family right here. And that's where you can pick your font, basically. We've got our font, type, or font styles, where you can pick those there. The next one we've got is our font size. You can type in here to uh, put down a size that isn't in the presets. The next thing we've got here is kerning. And what kerning is, is uh, the space in between letters. So if you put your mouse in between two letters and adjust the kerning, if I put it up to 200, it's going to either spread it apart or bring it closer. Now in some fonts, when you use like a capital letter and then use another letter, the uh, actual letters are spread out way farther than um, the rest. So if I look at this sentence right here, you can see the P and the H on Photoshop are pretty much, are kind of far apart. If you look over here, the H and the E are close together. And that's because it looks like I had a, a kerning set for that for negative 100. But you can, that's how you can uh, adjust the space in between letters. All right, if we go up to here where this part where it says auto, that is called leading. And a leading adds or subtracts the space between lines of text. So if I go ahead and um, adjust the leading here, let me uh, select our text here, and then do something like 30, you can see it's a lot closer. If I go to something like 6, well, you can see it's a lot closer, way more closer this time. And then 72 is farther away. Usually I like to keep it on auto, but um, if you come over to and hover your mouse over top of the kerning icon, you can click and drag, and it makes it easier for you to gauge and get precise where you want it to be. The next thing we've got here below this is called tracking, and tracking adjusts the space between words. So I could do it in between these two words right here. So if I select these words and then I increase the tracking, you can see how this works out here. And in effect, it also increases or decreases the space between the letters and the word as well. So if I wanted to do all of these, you can see how that would work there. And that way, um, you can just use the tracking to make the words closer or not. So I'm gonna put this back to five because I think oh, I put it back to five because I think that that's what it was at before. Yeah, five. Okay. Now let's go down to the uh, section below. We've got our vertical scale, and this increases or decreases the height. Let me select. Let me select something. I'll select this word greatest, and you can see it's making it taller. Put this back to 100, and then over here we've got our horizontal scale, and you can imagine that that just makes it larger horizontally. We've got the uh, baseline shift, and uh, the baseline shift uh, raises or lowers the selected text. So watch this. So this way you can make things like if you're doing like a math problem or something like that, you can make like the squared, you can put the little two above the 
above the text if you wanted to, um, or some other designs that you wanted to mess with. All right, and then we've got our font color here, which is self-explanatory. And this section here, we've got a bunch of font attributes. Bold, um, italic, all caps, small caps, and then if you just um, basically move your mouse over the top, you can see the different things you got here. Strike through, subscript, superscript, and some other things down here uh, that you can mess with, fractions. Here is our language settings. And then here is our anti-aliasing. And um, these are the different methods of anti-aliasing going from the worst, or uh, going from the sharpest to the smoothest. So uh, that's all I wanted to show you about on the character panel. And now you know all about it and what all the things do. So go ahead and use that in your next uh, text that you're going to use. So thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. And we're going to continue on the next tutorial with the paragraph panel which is the one right next to it. So thanks for watching and have a good day.